guys, Miss Kulkarni here. So guess what? In this video, we will talk about Taxol. Taxol is such a unique compound, a unique drug, and it is known to have some anti-cancer properties. So how did the discovery start? It was discovered in 1960s. And then there was a big screening program for finding out some anti-tumor agents and Taxol was extracted out as a natural product. What does it mean? That means it was obtained from natural resources which was the bark of Pacific yew tree. Then how did we even know that the process is working? So Taxol was extracted out and the extracts were checked again to see how they work and they showed the promise towards some cancer treatment. So there we go. Then we started about taking next steps in isolating the Taxol. So it was extracted in larger quantities and then it was purified to again confirm that it got some anti-cancer activities. Taxol is also known with the common nickname as Pacalitaxol. And there are many other derivatives of Taxol. So it belongs to a group of compounds which we call as toxides. Of course, they all are toxic, but they also have some anti-cancer activities. So Taxol got potent effects against solid tumors and also could be used in treatment of breast and ovarian cancers. So what is so special about Taxol structure? The Taxol structure is a very complex structure and it has got many chiral carbon center. So it gives you stereoisomers. Also there are multiple functional groups about Taxol which we had discussed in a separate video. So basically, Taxol is a very chiral molecule. So what does it have? It has many chiral carbon centers. Now chirality also gives rise to several stereoisomers and it also causes some problems. So the main thing is how can we identify and how can we isolate the pure desired Taxol stereoisomer? It's a challenge. So, here are the main problems. It is difficult to separate the pure form of the correct Taxol stereoisomer. It is also a very tedious process, long process and takes multiple steps. Also, it gives extremely low yield. That means we have to keep on repeating the process over and over again. How was Taxol actually extracted out? These are some basic steps for extraction. We take the bark from Pacific yew tree, then it is air dried and then it is first treated with ethanol. Ethanol is a good solvent. Then the extract which we get is concentrated and then we partition that with chloroform and water. So all the extracts are checked again and we repeat the process of extraction multiple times with multiple extraction steps. Then the extracts which show the anti-cancer activity are combined together and we obtain pure taxol. But the problem is it is obtained in extremely low yield about 0.004%. That is not economical at all. So we know there are problems with extraction of taxol and there are also some environmental serious impacts. First of all, we are going to use the Pacific yew tree that will endanger this particular species and it may become extinct. And then what? We may not have much source and in fact it takes about 200 years to grow the Pacific yew tree to the level at which we can obtain some bark. So that's a long process. Then we are also going to use for extraction tons of organic solvents. Many of those will be chlorinated solvents like chloroform, dichloromethane, and they pose some environmental hazard too. 
Then we have couple of drawing steps and we evaporate the solvents and they all give extremely low yield that will also consume more energy. So how can we carry forward the drug development for Taxol and how can we overcome these problems? Do we have any other options in obtaining Taxol, maybe from a different plant or different species? Then are there any green chemistry methods which will be less energy consuming and also good for the environment? Then can we synthesize taxol all from the scratch from the first step which we call as total synthesis and then are there any semi-synthetic method partly natural product and then carry forward as synthetic and plus how can we tackle the stereochemistry of taxol so scientists did not give up on taxol drug development they continued their efforts in all these methods because taxol is such an important drug and it has got anti-cancer properties so we will discuss this in next videos so stay tuned for upcoming videos in which we will talk about all these different strategies used for taxol drug development i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you in next video until then bye bye